Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's August 3rd of 2018, and it is about 7 p.m., and today is Friday. <clears throat> I went back to my, I was, last week I had to go to my regular doctor, and this week I had to go. My leg is better. Uh, and then something just this afternoon, for the first time, one of my major complaints has been, and it's been almost a month, about a month ago I went in the hospital. <clears throat> I was there about six days and I left AMA. But my food taste has been messed up for about a month. And finally, I'd say I can taste this Coke now 70% maybe, which is a big improvement. Uh, so I think that the taste is ability is coming back. So finally, the powerful antibiotics they've had me on has, you know, wore off or is starting to wear off. Uh, last week when I went to the doctor. Of course, they checked my leg, and uh, this week they checked my leg. But also, they did lab work last week and this week. I'll get the lab results Monday. And what they're concerned about is my kidney function. Uh, before I went in the hospital, I went in the hospital for my leg infection. All my stats, everything were normal. And once I got in the hospital, they started doing various things to me for my infection. Uh, my numbers went. So I'm hoping that uh, the kidney functions went way high. And the number that should be, you know, was way high than it should be. Last week it had come down a little bit, and so Monday I'll find out if it's come down again. So I had an appointment set up with uh, the prostate doctor. That's not what they're called, but I just. can't remember. I keep forgetting the... Uh... Anyway, I was supposed to see him. I had a, my first appointment was going to be August 7th, which would be just in four days. My first visit, I called and put it off till August 27th. I'm just not ready. I want to deal with uh, one problem at a time or I uh, just don't want to go through, so I put that off. So, uh, <clears throat> on the screen here you see the monitor that I am now using, the widescreen monitor. And I think I'm saving this as going to be, I'm just using part of it. Uh, this is 1980 by 1020, so I'll be uploading that. Um, over on the other corner that you can't see. Well, you could if I were to drag it, drag it, drag it, whatever. Uh, another sad story. Well, let me pull this over for you. Here you go. A uh, Vietnam veteran kills an intruder then the cops show up and they shoot the Vietnam veteran who killed, you know, by mistake. And uh, I move this out of the way here. This uh, Vietnam veteran who was uh, Richard Gary Black, 73, uh, an intruder broke into his house and uh, the Vietnam veteran, the homeowner, shot and killed the uh, person who broke into his house and then the police arrived because they've you know they got a call or whatever and they see the person who broke into the house dead on the floor I think they said bathroom floor uh, yeah bathroom floor the police assumed he was the uh, 
victim of the invasion. And then they see Mr. Black, who lived there, standing there with a gun, and the police shot and killed him. These type of things happen all the time. A gun does not make you, in fact, I think that gun, a gun, having a gun puts you in more danger. And especially, especially if you're black having a gun. Uh, but then also you've got to be you got to be aware you know you got to be proactive you've got to be on the phone hey uh, you know I'm whatever the situation you know the situation can vary you know hey I'm an off-duty police officer, I'm a security guard, I'm, uh, I'm a homeowner, I'm uh, black, and I just uh, shot somebody, and I am armed, and I'm wearing a red shirt, you know, I mean, you've got to do, you've got to do that, you've, uh, and even then, you are in, you are in danger. I know, I got tons of friends who love guns. And I think they love guns more than their family and more than anything. Uh, just be, just be careful and just think about it. Uh, I hate seeing these situations. I hate seeing the situations where uh, some gun owner, you know, like there was one where a gun owner left the gun in the back seat of the car, the guy's wife you know, the guy, I don't know where he is, work or sleeping or whatever, the wife decides to take their little two-year-old or whatever, puts him in the back seat, in the car seat, and she gets in the front seat, and the two-year-old picks up the gun, shoots the mother through the seat. And there were a couple, like, situations, you know, like that. That happens. Come on, people. Come on. You know, be smart. Think. Think ahead. You know, what can happen? So anyway, this monitor I have, I've been trying to figure out how to, uh, how to arrange it. I've got monitors here. I've got, well, I loaned it, or I gave it to my son, 4K monitor, a big one, but I've got 1980 by, you know, nice monitors. This uh, aspect ratio is presenting a little bit of a problem when I create a YouTube video and upload it or whatever. So maybe this is the way I'll do it. One 1980 by 1020 screen and a little space. I'm not sure I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Uh, so I'm working on it. This is my second camera. Both these cameras are Logitech cameras, which are good. This is a Blue Yeti, which I'm using right now. I have a whole bunch of microphones. I have quite a few cameras, too. And I, the other day I made a little short video with my G7, Panasonic G7. I need to make more. But I've been so sick for the last month. And I'm thinking today that maybe things are going to turn around a little bit. I am going to try to cut Coke and Colas out. Uh, right now it's sort of a way to test. Uh, so I signed up for uh, Rumble and uh, it looks interesting but I uploaded a video it's a video that's on that's uh, the video of uh, my daughter cooking outside on the grill 
I uploaded that video. That was going to be my first video to upload to Rumble. I uploaded it, and only 39 seconds of it uh, was there, registered or whatever. Then I tried again, it was the same thing. So I just uploaded it to uh, YouTube. But this looks interesting. Because what you can do is, well, you can do a lot with this. You can, uh, you could just upload, or you can take videos apparently that you have on YouTube, and you could give Rumble the URL, and then they will be. Uh, like an agent for you and also they will try to you know sell your your video and do various things with it <clears throat> or you can just upload the uh, a video to rumble and they will put it for you on YouTube you can I haven't figured everything out that you can do with it but uh, if you want to give it a try, here's the referral. So when you go there, I will get credit and then I haven't figured everything out with it. But uh, if you're looking for an alternative to YouTube, I don't know. I'd give it a try. Uh, here's that video I told you about that I, that was about well, three minutes and 48 seconds. But when I uploaded it to uh, Rumble, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or or whatever. Uh, wanted to mention to you, I want to start doing it in the videos and maybe having a little segue or whatever, go to it, you know. Like I like to do something, I'll try to make a video of a certain length and not ramble on the way I do and have commentary on maybe politics and then sort of have a call to action like what can you do to fix the problem and then the other thing I'd like to do is because I love movies always have since I was well we all have haven't we also uh, I'd like to do a little thing like recommend a movie or whatever I just started watching on Amazon, uh, The Lost City of Z, and it's a true story, and so I watched, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but anyway, well, an explorer goes to South America, and I got to tell you this much, he survives because he goes back to England. So I'm watching, I thought, well, that's pretty good, true story. And, and then I look at it and I have watched, I don't know if it's been about an hour or whatever. And I thought, well, okay, that's nice, nice ending to the, wait a minute, what? And then I looked at the thing and the movie was only halfway through. I think it's two hours and 20 minutes or whatever movie. And I, so I, anyway, I was tired and sick so I stopped. So I'll go back, I guess, and watch the rest of it. But anyway, The Lost City of Z. And I didn't realize that we knew so little about South America back in the 1900s. I think it was, yeah, the 1900s. I didn't realize we knew so little about South America, Brazil, and Amazon, and all that type of stuff. So but very interesting. It's... Uh, Lost City of Z. I am. I'm not sure if I'm going to take a nap. Should I take a nap when I'm feeling good? I usually take the nap when I'm feeling bad. Uh, anyway, Monday I'll get the results and I'll pass it on to you on my lab work. In fact, I will pull it up here and you will see my complete lab work. Um, uh, 
Um, this was from the, was this, this is uh, lab work from, here you go, this is my last lab work, so I'm looking for Monday to have an improvement. Now, before I went in the hospital, my lab work was excellent. Uh, blood sugar, everything. And after going in the hospital and coming out of the hospital, uh, these numbers are not so good. Now, this is last week. And especially alarming is the... See, my glucose was uh, 123 is not, but I mean, I'm usually 107. Usually there's not a problem with that. Uh, okay, here it is. Not sure what this is, but this is the number that, it was 2.2. .2, and then last week it was two and you don't want it to be above 1.3. So I'm hoping that next week it'll be in the safe zone. If not, if it's gone up, that's not good. But anyway, you'll be seeing this next, uh, on Monday. The doctor says your kidney function is improving. I'd like to check this once more in two weeks. Okay. So anyway, uh, for all of those of who have been wishing me luck and maybe my, uh, of course I'm 77 years old, I'm not going to live forever, I don't want to live forever, but uh, I do appreciate all the, the good, re you know, and I'm, I'm going to try to do better and I know I should not be drinking Coke, but and I have a, my daughter has purchased me every kind of grapefruit drink, uh, every kind, we have a shelf filled with drinks in there that she wants me to drink. And uh, I've lost, what is it, about 20 pounds. Well, I went from 240, sometimes 242, sometimes almost 245. I'm down today to 222 pounds. So I'm going to try to work and do a little bit better. And, and uh, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you decide you want to check out this rumble and look around, please use this referral. I'm not sure why. It's interesting here because you can do stuff if people make, if I'm correct. Excuse me. I think what can happen is if I upload videos, let's say I upload anybody, but say I upload a video. By the way, there's videos on here like that have earned some money that are like 117 seconds of somebody petting a dog's nose or whatever. So I don't know, I haven't had a chance to check everything out. But I think, if I understand this correctly, is let's say I upload a video. And I'm not sure what kind of settings I have to give it, but then you can come along and look at my video and see the tags or whatever, and you can create tags of your own or text of your own or stuff like that. And then it doesn't replace mine, if I understand this correctly. But then I come along and I look and I say, oh, this person, they made some excellent tags, or this is excellent commentary or whatever. So I can use yours instead, click on what you did, and then you get, I think, a X amount of money, not a lot I'm sure, or you get X amount of money that this 
video urns or something like that. I haven't found that out yet. In fact, I don't have a video right there yet. I'll try to get one up there as quick as I can. But it, the idea and everything looks interesting. But anybody competing against YouTube, <laughs> I mean, YouTube is the, what do you call it, the big fish in the ocean or the, what, I don't know, something. But it's, it's interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.